Good evening. A Nashville taxi cab driver killed while on the job is remembered at a candlelight vigil. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall explains why the Ethiopian community says his death leaves a big hole in their heart. People gathered tonight to remember 55-year-old Hiskias Wuda Gabriel, a father, husband, friend, and active member of his Ethiopian church community. He was killed here four days ago at this intersection, Peabody Street and 2nd Avenue South. Tonight, several people returned to this intersection, including his 21-year-old son and 18-year-old daughter. My dad was just always a bright person, no matter what. You know, he had to wake up so early, like at 3 a.m. to go to the airport. You know, he was a taxi driver, but no matter what, he never complained. He always had a smile on his face and he always tried to make us laugh. Last Wednesday, Woody Gabriel stopped at the traffic light in his taxi cab when police say a Ford van hit him and two other vehicles. He died at the scene. The Ethiopian community prayed for him tonight, lit candles and sang songs in his memory. Family members traveled from as far as Seattle and New York. They talked about how they will continue to remember him and how much he did for his church and community. When I was in middle school, he would wake up four in the morning, work from four to six, come home at seven, pick me and my sister up, take us to school, work from seven to 2.30, be at our school early so that we could get out at three o'clock. And then he would drop us off at a location where he'd meet my mom so that he could go work some more. Family members will gather tomorrow for Wooda Gabriel's funeral. We have more information on our website on how you can support the family. In Nashville tonight, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.